RD. Stay away from it, buddy. I better shut this a little bit. <laughs> you, got, you can get to it a lot closer than I thought. Well, there's that rust spot I showed you guys. Paint getting to you, Miller. That's that reform, reformer. That rust reformer. Put that all down through there. I just buy about a case of this stuff and go around and start doing stuff. I gotta do some filler and some body work. You see right there, you can see that little hole. I gotta come in there and we'll get some a little bit of fiberglass, just put a quarter size in there. And uh little bond and a little what smoother putty or whatever you want to call it, icing. Make it smooth in there. Try to get it as best as I can, guys. I'm not no big time body man. I'm learning at this stuff, so. And we tighten three of these up. Then we're gonna put a little bit of uh, hand crank on them too. Yep. I gotta look for my uh, bar, but we'll hand torque them as well. Um, anything else? I think that's about everything, guys. Um, oh yeah, no it's not. I'm going to put the two-step colder plug in this. Now, if you guys wanted to run nitrous in one of these cars, here's the VK6R. This is what you want to use. About a 75 shot and down on a single fogger. 75 shot and up to about 125. You want to run the 7s. Turbo, the 7s are good up to 400. Then of course you'd have to go to eight. But this will be two step colder than a one eight. So if you guys got a one eight and not a two O, the one eight actually is a VK four. Not a six E, it's a four. So this is actually a two step colder for this engine, which will be fine. We're gonna gap them down because we're gonna throw nitrous to this bitch. We're still gonna work on the Honda, but since uh, I calm down and everything. I'm going to take my time and we're going to pull that engine up out and tap that and get things right on it. And we'll get things right on this too, but we're going to, we might even spray the Honda on like a 50 shot or something just to see what we may get out of the 100. And we're going to spray this as well. Um, but we got to get tires for the back of it and some wheels or something. I'm not going to spend a lot of money into it this year. I'm going to Basically, whatever I'm upgrading on the other car will go to this car. So this car will get a lot of nice shit. But yeah, I wanted to show you guys that might even put the... I'm going to put the fuel pressure, adjustable fuel pressure regulator on it tomorrow. I'll show you guys a video on that tomorrow. But we'll try to get this gap to uh, 35, 32, 35. That's what I find good on like a 75 shot. I'm not going to go over 75 shot on a single fogger on this car because i personally don't like to it may though we may hit 100 on it but at this point we're only going to go to 75 because that's what kind of plug we got for right now and uh, plus i'll work my way there oh you should always work away even though it's a baby shot you're 35 50 you should do a little bit pulls a little testing afr runs i know these pretty good i don't have a wide band yet I don't know the Honda that good. That's why I figured we better spray this first before the Honda. Plus, we got a clutch for this. So, if this clutch rips out, we got a clutch we can put in it. And hopefully, we're working on the Honda then. Then, when we go to put the clutch into this, you know, see, we got the Honda going. And hopefully, RD2 is going. So, hopefully, we always got something to play around with or to race. Um, this is not really going to build it into a big time race car. Well, you know, all my cars turn into race cars, but this will probably might get the supercharger on it but we have everything for a turbo literally all i gotta do is buy a drain line and a turbo and this can be turboed so this might get turbo on a cheap budget way i'm thinking about showing you guys how to do a cheap budget way of about eight psi and under where it's not going to cost you guys more than about seven eight hundred um they say about seven psi is the max on it but you can get about eight guys um I'll be the guinea pig for you. Uh, we did it years ago. 
it's hard for me me hard for me to remember everything but uh i'll be the guinea pig and show you guys how it works so if you guys i might do that but i'm not sure yet though this could be the nitrous car but we might throw the turbo on it we got a supercharger there's pals and options with this car lots of options and it's a one eight so i'm really curious on how the spray runs in the one eight block with a little higher compression because I haven't had a higher compression engine in a long time. Like mine is super low. Like I said, seven, seven to seven to one. You know, that's super low. I think like they're 10 something from factory, 10, 10, five. I think these are nine, eight. These are a little bit lower. These are 10 horsepower difference than the two O block from factory. Um, but yeah, I'll get to work before it gets fucking dark guys. What's up YouTube? going today i just uh got the car out here running looks like we got some motor mounts some motor mounts we're gonna have to fix i'm not sure if this fully here is a little loose on the water pump or the water pump starting to go out i have a brand new water pump so um that timing belt normally I would change them but it looks like it looks really good but I think I'll change the timing belt too because it could be coming from there we'll change the timing belt we'll take all this stuff off of it because I want to make sure we get a half decent running one I hear a little clunk clunk once in a while but anyway I wanted to show you guys nice and quiet this is down here there's a lot of that like clunking noise you guys are hearing that shield it's busted off right here supposed to be right to there we're going to put the OBX header 421 in it well, we've had good luck with the OBX stuff and it works pretty good. But up front, we got excellent tires. And then when you come back over to here, look at that bad boy. She's about ready to uh, split. So, right there as well. So, we got to get some. Uh, she's only got three of these wheels on it. God was supposed to bring me the other one, he never did. So, we're going to get. Um, probably go to the junkyard. Try to find some RDs. One's a uh, guy I know is gonna end up selling me his, but hard to tell when he's gonna end up getting them, and I'm not gonna ass around forever. RD looks pretty good from behind. And then this is the one he didn't have. I thought about just buying one of these from the junkyard off in the launcher, 14 by five, but they're just it's a brand new tire. I got three brand new tires, one junk tire, but look. Look at it. Not tight. That one may be. That one's definitely not. And that one's definitely not. And I don't think this one is. <laughs> so, a tight nose. I wish we had a. Uh, I do have a dummy tire. So, I might throw a dummy tire on the other side just to make sure that it don't have a bad wheel bearing or nothing like that. I want to paint this here today. That's like the main rust part on it. I'm going to get these off the side, learn my lesson, get these off the side and clean this all up. I got a little bit here I see coming in of rust, so I do got some. But what we're going to do with that, clean that all up, rust behemmered it, and then we'll, uh, I'm going to end up replacing the shocks on this thing, and then we'll come in here and rubber coat all this shit. Same way with the other car. We're going to do that this winter too. I'm going to get a wood stove this winter. We're going to park both of these cars in there side by side spend most of our time with these cars and the talent this year uh, Honda I'm still gonna work on the Honda but it's gonna be a little bit slower process now since I got this Tiburon running again and the other one's about ready to turbo should be here any day so we're about ready to get that going again um, like I said before the Honda is a long-term project drag car but it's uh, it's a good car, and I'm gonna probably 
since I calmed down a lot, I'll probably end up tapping everything and making sure everything's right. You know. But yeah, we gotta clean this up a little bit. Not quite sure. But well, I mean, this is probably hard to tell when any of this stuff's been changed, guys. So I, my best bet is to change the water pump. Alternator looks fine. I don't hear it squeaking today. It looks, it's a Chinese fuck. So that was probably eBay. Um, but yeah, I got a water pump in here somewhere too. So we're going to be good with the water pump on this. But yeah, it's got brand new 14s on the front of it. I mean, got that deer damage I got to fix. I got to get two headlights here. And then you got this dent here. I'm going to try to pull that. Then you got like all these little dents. Well, they make those little welders where it comes in with like sticks and then you pull them in and bang, bang it out. I think that's what I'm going to do because this car is like, you know, it's a solid car, guys. I mean, it's a really nice car. Uh, other concern spot is right here. I'm not sure how bad that rust is, but I'm going to get in there and clean it all out. As you see, the windshield needs to be replaced. I can't fill it at all, but it needs to be replaced. So when I get uh, safe link to come over here and take that out I'm gonna see if they can't give me like a few minutes to get in there and clean that rust up as best I can put some stuff in there or else actually I'll probably take this out myself that way I can clean it then give them a call and have them replace it yeah but a lot of this Some of that rattles, like I said, I'm not sure. It could be. That water pump definitely looks like. You see that? That's that rattling. That's this down here rattling. See, it's rattles right here, it's rattling there, and everywhere else. So, I mean, I don't think it's. The engine's pretty good. I shouldn't really be revving the shit out of it. I need to change the oil in it. <laughs> oh, well. Yeah, I'm going to change the antifreeze in it. I'm going to do some things to it, guys. I got to drill that bolt out because it busted to the antifreeze. Forgot all about that. Or the cooling or whatever you want to call it. But, yeah, I'll do a few things to this today, and I'll show you after I'm done with it. Like and subscribe. Thumbs up, guys. Appreciate you all.